From a browser, you're going to navigate to lists.case.edu, and if you see the Login button in the upper left, you know that you're not currently logged into the system. So you'll scroll to the bottom of the screen and you'll enter your entire case email address and your case password and click Login. You'll know you're successfully logged into the system when you see your email address in the upper left-hand corner. Click the Create List button and enter the list name. This is what you want the email address for your administrative alias to be. And you're only going to enter the beginning part before the at case.edu. Select Administrative Alias as the type of list. Scroll down and enter a title for your list. Under Topics, you're going to choose Administrative Alias, and then you're going to add a description. Without a description, the list cannot be created. Click Submit Your Creation Request, and you'll receive a confirmation page telling you that your list has been created. Once your list is created, you have the ability to administer the list. So you're going to click List Admin. You're going to click the Subscribers link and you're going to add your case email as a subscriber and click add. This is a very important step because unless you are subscribed to the list yourself, you will not receive any emails that are sent to the list, which kind of defeats the purpose of having the list. Once you've completed these steps, your administrative alias is set up and it's great to be used by anybody that needs to get you a message.